Hi, babe. Hi, honey. Now, what do you got going on? Well, I'm kind of two-toning these soups. Oh, that looks good, though. Yeah. You kind of mix the paint a little bit to make it look older as you go around. But the red bleeds through. Yeah, the red bleeds through. So you're just gonna do like a light coat of that, mm -hmm. so the red will stay up, bleed through it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, that's a good thing. And then you have stuff that you painted on the bench. Yeah, it's a crackle paint. And then yeah. when you paint the other color on the bench, then it'll it crack. Cracks like it's very, very old. See the high gloss? Yes. The high gloss where it's everything, it's all dry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Once so you, that's what you put on it? Uh-huh. Once you paint that that crack paint, crackle paint, or whatever you want to call it, on it, then uh So will the white come through it? The white will come through a little bit. But instantly it shows like it's, you know, 100 years old. It, it, the paint has to dry. And then whatever color you put on top of it, it'll crack. Instantly. It's kind of cool. So then you don't just put a thick coat of the paint on it, you just kind of put it on there and... Yes, yeah, as, as thin and as fast as you can put it on there, the better, because it... it it dries out real fast. There's got to be a chemical in this clear coat stuff that I've put on. There's got to be a chemical in there that makes it dry really, really fast. Because within within seconds, as soon as you touch the new paint with the crackle paint, it dries up. So you can't brush back over the top of it. Or it takes you can it brush off. strokes. And it looks very ugly. And... Okay. But looking good babe yeah <laughs> all right babe i love you love you too honey